Good morning, uh, colleagues from the media, Deputy Minister, the colleagues you know from the Ministry. We have the pleasure, you know, once again to host you, to convey to you decisions that were taken at the Earth Decision Making Cabinet. A meeting that took place, you know, this Tuesday, the 14th of May, 2019. Once again, I will sample only three items that I'll be speaking to this morning, because the rest of the items, as usual, in terms of brevity, and efficiency are self-explanatory and you will be able to glean and decipher the gist of the decisions that were made. The first issue that the uh, cabinet looked at was a report that was submitted by the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of International Relations and Cooperation on the Southern African Development Community SADC Solidarity in our Conference with Western Sahara that was held in Pretoria, the Republic of South Africa in March this year. Now, this report contained a number of recommendations which Cabinet then considered, particularly, you know, the declaration that was given at the end of this meeting, which declaration I'm sure your colleagues are fully aware of because the declaration was issued right after that engagement. So cabinet approved uh, that Namibia should implement the recommendations emanating from those declarations. In particular, cabinet approved that Namibia, wherever we are, at whatever forum, should ensure that we continue to raise the issue of Western Sahara at those platforms continentally, regionally, and globally, and also in the bilateral engagements that we continue to have with different nations and institutions. This we need to do to ensure that the people of Western Sahara achieves the desired self-determination. You recall that it's not long time ago, although it's close to 30 years, that Namibia found itself in a similar situation where we were oppressed, where our rights for self-determination were not in our honored. So, as a matter of principle, we have an obligation to support Western Sahara uh, so that they too can enjoy the tenets of you know, freedom. Cabinet further endorsed that the AU African Union Panel of the Wise should also include the issue of Western Sahara on their agenda. The second issue that Cabinet you know, looked at, and it's fairly you know, straightforward, is the total allowable catch for monk for the fishing season 2019-2020, which will commence on the 1st of May 2019, commenced already and will end on 30 April 2020. And Cabinet there endorsed 
the recommended total allowable catch amounting to 7,200 metric tons that was recommended by the Minister of Fisheries and Marine Resources. The last item that I'll be talking to is the compilation of the country report on the implementation of the Beijing Declaration Platform for Action. You recall way back in 1995, the entire universe converged you know, in Beijing, China, to look at issues pertaining to gender and many other you know, issues. Now, what has happened is that uh, through the Ministry of Gender, a comprehensive national review was undertaken and this review focused on the extent to which Namibia has gone to concretize some of the key outcomes that emerged from that Beijing declaration platform for action because we will be required when the event convenes to then reflect on progress made to report on action that Namibia uh, as a member, as a party you know, to that uh, engagement, the actions that we have taken. So through the Ministry of Gender, with the participation of so many stakeholders from civil society to those who are involved in the issues at stake, the Minister of Gender carried out that national review and that national review will be launched later, you know, this month. So flag, you know, that issue so that you are there. The Minister of Gender will soon indicate as to when the launch will be. And that launch is likely to be officiated by either the Right Honourable Prime Minister or alternatively the Deputy Prime Minister, and you recall the Deputy Prime Minister was a key player in the 1995 Beijing Declaration. So the details that is contained in the National Review, hold on to your horses, those details will be provided to you at a particular point in time when the launch will be realized, then you will appreciate what will be reflected in that, you know, review. The rest, you know, like I said, are fairly, fairly straightforward and typical of me. I don't belabor issues and that's what I wanted to share, you know, with you. The rest, you know, you can read once again in the event that you have queries there are public relations officers in the respective entities that have got items, you know, on the agenda and they will be able to provide you with the details. The same applies in terms of the executive directors. The same applies in terms of my colleagues, the fellow ministers who have items in the event you would like to have, you know, details. The rest, you know, are fairly straightforward and you can glean over that so that you acquaint yourself with what was discussed, some of which we now have the pleasure to have conveyed to you, although in a summarized version. That's the end of the issues that I wanted to share with you, you know, this morning and I will pause there.